Hey guys, TLG here. Uh, I know it's probably been, what, four years, three years since I've uploaded? Um, I don't know how many of you guys are actually still active. I've had a few comments to, to come back and play. The, uh, the Dot .hack games actually brought in quite a few people, uh, and I was asked to do the GU series, and I actually have never played them. I believe I watched the anime a long time ago, but it was so long ago I don't remember much from it. They all kind of blurred together. Uh, and I figured I would come back and give it a try, especially since the summer sale actually dropped this uh, half the price. It was almost perfect timing. Um, a lot has happened in the last three years. I have moved to Oregon and changed jobs. I work now way too much. <laughs> so I will try and do burst recordings where I'll record a, a period of time and then kind of queue them up and have constant videos instead of just random gaps. I'm going to try and get back to a schedule. This will get me back into the actual uh, long-term RPGs instead of just the, the one-off type games where I used to play CSGO, Tom Clancy Siege, and Overwatch just because you could play it once and turn it off and go do something else. Um, I'm excited for Final Fantasy 7 to come out the remake and uh, I'm gonna keep my eye out for for more games and play uh, I'm looking into moving again and hopefully get a room for a VR setup because I do have the Oculus Rift and there have been some pretty great games on that but uh, I'm always open to suggestions if you guys want to I guess find something even if it's an MMO I would like to get into MMOs with even a group of people so uh, with that said I guess we can start the first game of the dot hack GU remake on Steam there uh, I did play a little bit of it just to make sure everything ran well. Uh, I will say the beginning part is a bit boring. The commentary, the, vo the, the wording and the vocals really made me want to switch it to Japanese just so that it might be a little bit more tolerable for the beginning, only because it's a, uh, a tutorial style. Um, and they, they pause after like every three words and it, it was just rough, but uh, we'll get through that to the first episode We might just talk over some of it because it, it's just simple things telling you how to move around and whatnot So we'll get through that, but uh, all right, let's let's get into it and uh, well, Have a, a return to YouTube. All right Oh, this is cool. Hey. Now we're going to meet my favorite people, the hey, you. three you, word the tutorials. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. So, I take it this is your first time playing this game. Yeah. I just finished installing it to my PC. Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. Huh? 
I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh. All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. <laughs> you see what I mean? Short mail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. <laughs> it's so rough. All right, so let's open the menu. But yeah, so it's basically just the tutorial style. Oh, see, I can't even hit Y yet. I have to wait for it to go away. It's just, it like puts you so slow paced and then it kind of kicks right up, which is nice. Uh, from what I saw, I didn't actually get too far into it because I wanted it to be kind of a surprise. Um, only because I this is have a never list played of all this game. The people who have them. Seems very similar to the other one. Okay. I am on. Okay, great. Now your party is complete. Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first adventure? I will say uh, he does run really fast. Uh, good. I, I had to reset my camera too because they had the camera set so that it. Uh, would go the opposite direction when you uh, hit left the camera would go left so it would actually look right and if you went right it would look like it was it was very wonky and backwards so we got that set so that should help us out but um, I guess we should save and then continue on with the wonderful tutorial it's kind of fun. I mean I guess they expected people to maybe come this into this is new, a transporter but... called the chaos gate Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. Choose warp menu. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. You can warp to these areas by combining three words at the chaos gate. These words determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. All right, let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. This is where These you words, with the words. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> the thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, and forums. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. Choose courageous from your stock. Okay, now you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area word. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. All right, then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. It's nuts that if, if this was like a real MMO with people really joining, like if somebody would ever give that depth of an explanation to every new person, like, ugh. So, we've all been transported to a field. Open your map to take a look at the layout. Let's break the immersion. Press the back button. Is it really breaking the immersion, I guess, if it's supposed to be an MMO, so he actually would have to hit that key? This is the area map. Use this screen to check current position, mission info, and any other information you may need. This is our mission. Missions are basically, um, well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. It looks like this is a collection mission. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. 
The symbol fragments are in treasure chests found on the altars. The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen. Or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. These are the altar icons. I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Now, this is the icon for the Beast Temple, which is our final destination. Okay, now that we've confirmed what our mission is, let's be on our way! Wait up, Asta. You forgot one more thing. This is the part that got me too when I was running through it. So use this transporter to return to town after completing an area's mission. It's also got a healing function to, <laughs> called platform rest. I hate that sentence right there. It's also got a healing. It also has a healing function. Like <laughs> the little grammar not seeing me was a little a little feisty on that one, but which you can use so once in an area, use it when you're low on HP and SP. Okay, this time let's really get going. Mm. But so this is, uh, I guess, the first major difference I noticed from the uh, dot hack uh, infection mutation outbreak in quarantine games is the, uh, the actual levels instead of going through nice. a dungeon and getting to the end. We found an altar already. You basically do this overworld map. I'm not sure because they said it's this is a certain mission, so I'm wondering what the other ones are like. But I guess we'll get there. So um, combat. This was also kind of cool. Your life belongs to me. Once a battle begins, the battle area spreads out like this. The battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually... The only way to escape from a battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. Go figure! <laughs> hey, you're not too bad. Not so difficult, huh? Oh, I didn't know you can knock him into people too. That's That'd it. be interesting. Just continue fighting like that. Using a new uh, Steel Series controller, so we'll see if it if it plays right. It's the first time I was able to get the Bluetooth to work because I needed a firmware update. So we'll see if I run around all wonky for a while, but eventually I'll get the hold of it. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if you could actually sneak past them. I don't know if maybe you go to low levels when you're a higher level, if you can sneak past the enemies without them, like... Uh, All right, we found another altar. Targeting you and attacking you, but... Um, I'll teach you about I don't using know, we'll see where we go on, I guess. Yay, skills. Slow! The regular Slow. and combo attacks are just simply normal attack skills enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. Okay, what you see here is the skill trigger. You see the four panels? You can press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. Now try it out by using the arts. Alright. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut can also be used to stop enemy attacks, or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. Aren't you forgetting something important, EO-10? There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? Uh, so Rengeki is an advanced attack to an increased amount of inflicted damage to perform Rengeki. Use a skill attack when an enemy is surrounded by a blue and purple ring. Appears when continuously inflicted with damage. Attack the enemy until it's surrounded by blue and purple rings. So that's the part I don't like, is I wish there was like a readout gauge to show when he's going to get these rings, because I don't know if it has to be in quick succession. Um, like, I after I did it, this, this guy, did, did it, this guy, it, uh, I couldn't really get it to trigger on the other ones, even though I was constantly attacking them, so... Um, favorite action is triggered when Rageki is used or other conditions are met. It raises morale of your party members and allow you to execute more powerful attacks conditions or favorite action vary with each party. Oh, okay. I hate that because they use the term favorite action. So the conditions for the quote favorite action vary from each party member. There you go. Using an item, yada yada, well. stuff like that, I'm Shall assuming. Shall we let him play as he wishes? That's a good idea. Alright, Haseo. It's all up to you now. Oh, 
Oh, see, that one died too fast. Like, I couldn't... I wanted to do Rengeki again to see if I get it multiple in the same one, but... You know, tutorial levels. That's what happens. Down to one to left. Um, I kind of wish that, uh... They're ours. I... I guess, could have a similar style, so as it appears, I can't do it like I did with the old one, where I, uh... Why can't I do Rengeki on this guy? <laughs> like... Um, where I could just, you know, skip to the bottom level, so that you guys wouldn't have to watch all the fighting, because I'm sure after a while it'll get really monotonous in routine, so I might end up skipping certain battles, but, uh... You know, we'll see. I keep just planning ahead, but uh, still the tutorial, so I, I shouldn't plan too far ahead. It might completely change once I get out of this. Yeah, awesome job. All right, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like we taught you. I don't, I don't think I need to check the map. I think I. I know, I just gotta go down. <laughs> Look at the big map when you have a mini-map. They're really spoon-feeding these new guys. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm debating I'm gonna keep the videos probably 15 to 20 minutes long. I don't think I'm gonna go up to the half-hour point. Because um, to get to that point, they, they get a little, little long and drawn out, but it may actually help with the pacing, so I don't know. I'll have to see how each level goes, because back when I, I was doing the dot .hack, I kind of kept it per world, rather than uh, just time limits, because I didn't like stopping in the middle, so we'll see. This is a statue of Fulset, the god of law. We just call it the Beast Statue. But I think in the game's story, it's supposed to be an important god or something. You see that treasure box? That's the offering to the Beast Statue. There's a rare item inside of that that you can only get in this area. Go ahead and open it, Haseo. You sure? Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. So that's something I don't get. So this is supposed to be an offering to the god. <laughs> and, well, we'll just take it. That don't matter. Thanks. <gasps> what the? The items in the treasure chest are your rewards. Yes. And our reward is you. <laughs> I love taking out these pathetic noobs. It's really quite fun. Face it, an idiot like you isn't qualified to play this game. Hey, hold on. I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? After all... This is my reward! Pathetic. <laughs> well, what do you expect from a noob who's just logged in for the first time? 
Oh, come on, say something already. Hello. <laughs> I swear, just pretend to be their friend, and they fall all over themselves to let you PK them. <laughs> hey, you're still around, aren't you, kid? Welcome to the world. No lie, I kind of thought this was going to be a stereotype where he all of a sudden goes unconscious and becomes crazy powerful, but that didn't happen. <laughs> I was sure of it. I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd be that strong. I guess this means that the rumor about you killing 100 PKers wasn't a lie after all. Hey, come on, don't look at me like that. Here, let me apologize. So just take it easy, calm down, and die! <laughs> Ch 
Do you know Triedge? What did you say? He's a legendary PK, shrouded in blue fire. They say players that get killed by him never come back to the game. Huh? Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you actually believe that crap. Those old forum fairy tales. So, you think you can go up against me, the great Bordeaux, and just walk away like nothing happened? Yeah, I think I can. Well, that was cool. I didn't expect in eight months he would become infamous as a PK killer, but hey, you know, that, that works. I uh, think we missed a bit of story there, but hey, I'm okay with that. character that stinks of death the terror of death you're the PKK Haseo players who kill other players are disgraceful and I agree it's terrible how PKs can just strut around the world so easily these days but is it right that you PKKs have chosen to use brute force to stop them I don't have time for this not now you have no authority and it earns you nothing so why? I am the leader of Moon Tree's Unit 2. My friends call me Sakaki, and I'm afraid I cannot overlook your actions. Did you say Moon Tree? What's that? The name of a guild? <laughs> Sorry, Sakaki, but I've already got enough friends. Thanks. person? Uh, no. Atoli. It's not unusual to meet players with similar characters in an online game like this. <laughs> just a case of mistaken identity. Hey you, why don't you just... Huh? A text message. Delta hidden forbidden waterfall. Waiting at R.K. Kelm. But who sent it? Uh. Ovan! Just hold on a moment. Why don't you stop acting like a complete fool? Remember, what you PKKs are trying to do. If you succeed, you'll be no different from the PKs themselves. Surprised they have to abbreviate PKs, but I'm also glad we're learning a lot of names, but I really do think we missed a lot of backstory. <laughs> Shino, Ovan, uh, Triblade. I would also like to see a game where you can actually physically hold Ovan. somebody. <laughs> like you just stopped him by grabbing his shoulder. It's been a long time, Haseo. Or maybe I should call you the Terror of Death. You've gotten quite strong, a lot stronger than you were back then. Well, I was forced to become stronger. Thanks to you. 
You, where have you been? Haseo, always the reliable one. I knew I could count on you. When the Twilight Brigade broke up, why didn't you come then? What have you been doing the last six months? I was busy. It was such a small seed. I needed to find out what was growing inside. And there was only one way to find out. That's why I decided to raise it. You raised it? What are you talking about, Ovan? I'm speaking figuratively. When you suddenly disappeared, we all just... Why did you disappear like that? After that, Shino... Haseo, do you want to know about Triage? Wait, you know Triage? Six months now, and Shino hasn't come back to the world since Triage killed her. Meanwhile, the real life Shino is lying in a coma, and no one seems to know the reason why. Triage. He is not a normal PK. So you knew about Shino? Yes. But that's all that I know. But if you were able to find Triage, you might learn something about Shino's coma. You may also learn more about what really happened that day. And if you were somehow able to defeat Triage, then maybe Shino would come out of the coma. If my information is correct, he will be back today at the scene of the crime scene of the crime you mean delta hidden forbidden holy ground the place where shino was killed the holy grand's cathedral yes finally i'll get my chance i swear i'll bring shino back i'll do it ovan yes you and I, we're the only ones who could possibly bring her back. We're the only ones. <laughs> Ovan? I'll meet you at the holy ground. There are some things I must do. Well, this is, uh, I guess, a longer first episode. We will be <laughs> back today at the scene of the crime. Triage is coming here. They haven't given me a chance to stop anywhere yet. Yeah! <laughs> 
What? <laughs> uh, evil kite? How, how you doing? And and late Ovan? How, how you doing? Uh, reboot complete. Huh? What the? I was fighting Triage, but then. Damn it! I can't remember. Huh? I don't remember doing that. Reformatted. What's going on? What about my emails? Huh? What the hell? I would never delete these. They're all gone. Even the emails I got from Shino. Everything's been reformatted. What the hell is going on? An email? Fine, let's take a look. Ovan? There are two paths before you. One of these will lead to safety and shame. It is a path where you give up. The give up the world and will ne and never log in again. The other path leads to peril and pride. It's a path where you continue the world and resume your search for the truth. Let me be blunt. The latter path is torturous and will threaten both your mind and body. Once you have chosen it, there will be no turning back. If you still choose to walk the path, or this path, then there will come a time when you and I will meet once again in the world. When that time comes, I will once again say this to you. Welcome to the world. Trial and truth. Whether or not I should quit the world? You should know better, Ovan. I'm gonna go back to the world. And then, I'm gonna get Shino back, no matter what! Well, snap. Alright guys, I think uh, that's a spot to stop. And we'll come back with uh, more mind fuckery, I guess. Uh, and give that a try, so... Um, I'm still conf confused, uh, Kite. I figured, uh, Aura was gonna show up or something, but nope. And now we got Ovan. Uh, the thing about Ovan I thought would be fantastic is if there was actually a character like them in a game. 
where the the right arm is completely locked off, and if they, like there's a certain skill that unlocks it under superpower, I don't know, it'd be kind of cool. But anywho, we will end off here, and uh, we'll start right back up next time. So out. Oh, 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 oh,